Welcome to Metro City, or to be more realistic, New York City. A city where dreams, hopes, and ambition grows every single day. But to me, it is home. And I'm here to talk about something that I've only, I honestly just wanted to share with you guys for quite some time. So let's get started. The two questions that have often been asked to me in my lifetime is how did I get good at fighting games and why do I like them so much? So before I get to those two questions, please note that the footage you're looking at is me and Sko Ronan taking turns playing fighting games. Well, specifically one with Marvel 2 and technically this is the only fighting game they got at the moment. But the Chinatown Fair Arcade is a really fun place to hang out and it's a really fun place where you just want to chill and hang out for a couple of hours and honestly I still recommend it to go even if there's not that much fighting games as it used to be. But let me get started. So Chinatown Fair Arcade for me is my old training ground when I used to visit here when I wanted to play Third Strike, Tekken, Ultra Street Fighter 4 and a couple of other games I might have forgotten but it was such a long time ago too, like heck, even the setting is completely different from what you see here, like they didn't have the Ninja Turtles arcade or the shooters or something. I mean, they always did have the DDR machine, but minus the DDR and Marvel 2, these are pretty much the new stuff that I'm not too familiar with and it's been such a long time since I've been here, so it's interesting. But now to the main questions, how did I get good? Well. Obviously, I came here and trained, and it was during my senior year that I started to come here. I simply was just getting tired of doing the same thing every day, so I took it a couple of days off from classes or skipped classes midway, and sort of just decided to, I guess, introduce myself to fighting games, because this place was often mentioned so many times. Of course, before that, I go to the Nintendo store that's in Rockefeller and 48, Times Square, Union, but this was something that I was told time and time again to check out. And I am forever grateful to those who actually recommend me to go to this place. Because if it really wasn't for Chinatown Arcade, I honestly wouldn't even be here doing the whole YouTube thing for the last 10 years. And now the big question. Why do I like fighting games so much? Honestly, it's because all my life I've grown being a person that didn't really have much friends or people to really make interactions with. And to me, this was the same place where I've met many, many people that I've either never seen again, have made it to the top lengths and ranks and other fighting games but for me it was the place where i was able to meet many good companions and a lot of good moments that i had in my life and these ended up being my three lieutenants which you guys probably may know who i'm talking about but of course these three were the original og team the original thunderbolts we often meet here at times to play either any fighting game and we just simply mash and just go nuts and go crazy. But the one thing that I've always had fond memories with is that it was able to show me the path to truly appreciate fighting games what they were. Not just the stages, not just the aesthetics, the soundtracks, the characters, everything. It was about truly seeking a new purpose that underlying likewise, it just gave me a sense of finding out what I wanted to be. And what I wanted to be at first was to be an actor. And my main goal for that was because I simply thought by being famous, you would get a lot of friends. And a lot of people would like you because you're you. And I know that sounds a bit naive when you think about it, but I was the type of person that really wanted to make it big, not for the money, but it was more like I just wanted to make friends. So when I discovered the fighting game realm, I decided to take it upon myself to truly get good 
to, I guess, not really be admired, but to really be respected for the strength and the commitment of becoming stronger. I took a lot of games seriously, like Third Strike, Ultra 4, Killer Instinct, and Street Fighter V later on. But what led into that motivation even more further was when I survived an earthquake in Peru during the same year, actually of summer 2012. And I decided to take it upon myself to truly become a much better fighter. Because not only did that near-death experience strengthen me, but also the loss of someone very close to me made it more impactful for me to truly make a change in my life. Being here today, and of course, you know, being able to visit the Chinatown Fair Arcade often reminded me how much I had to put up with for so long with all the commitments and the goals I had for myself. I mean, literally not too long ago, these past two months, like it's literally like past 10 years of me being a YouTuber. And I literally just celebrated my 10th anniversary of being a YouTube content creator and it's been such an amazing journey. I mean, you may think it's all video games and stuff, but believe me when I tell you this, Chinatown Fair Arcade often made me reminded myself why did I love fighting games? Why did I want it to be stronger? And for the last sort of half decade, I sort of lost touch with that because I simply just felt like I had to make changes to make people happy or to be comfortable enough to walk on eggshells or I guess in a way I've lost track of who I was. I was more focused about creating content and just sort of like showing my progress on a somewhat bland status in a way that now recently I'm beginning to notice that my progress has been really, really been an amazing and, and it's something that I'm forever grateful for. I'm not gonna lie, while being here, it also was a bit of a hit hit home to the feels nostalgic because I remember that there were so many people that had a lot of dreams and ambitions where they wanted to go all the way to the distance and some of them have either given up their dreams and some of them have made it so far. And yet, I'm one of them. I, I didn't expect to even be talking about this. But the one thing that has often been shown to me time and time again is that being able to love fighting games so much has its own rewards and I am again grateful to everything that has led up to it and it all started just because I decided to take a couple of days of classes despite graduating and despite a lot of hardships and even a lot of things even now that I'm still going through being here doesn't make me sad, it just makes me happy. And it even reminds me that there's still always going to be a chance to truly reminisce the good days while being able to confront the future after everything that has gone through. Honestly, I am truly grateful to Chinatown Fair Arcade to this day because not only do I take some time to truly travel and spend a couple of bucks just to play either Marvel 2 or something, but honestly, being able to go here, and of course there's other arcades in this city that I know of, but this one to me has always been like a place where nostalgia and I guess the sense of the old days feels very home to me. And I'm forever grateful to Chinatown Fair Arcade, and I'm hoping that this stays around for many generations of new players to come along. So thank you Chinatown Fair Arcade, thank you for the memories.